Alrighty. Dad finished planting some of his corn yesterday. We're not totally done. Glenn's gonna finish up the rest of it. We're gonna go ahead and switch Dad over to beans. So right now he's getting the planter folded out so we can clean all the meters out. Already got the big hoppers blown out. Got all the seed out of there. So yeah, we like to fold it out and back it up on the concrete so you can reach it with your air hose. So you can blow all the meters and make sure all the lines are clear. And okay, today we're changing the corn meters out, switching over to beans. So first thing you're gonna need is an air gun, marking tool, some type of a pick with a little bent on it, bend on the end, a wheelbarrow, a couple buckets to put your meters in and leftover corn. The first thing we're gonna do is unlatch the meter lid and take that off loose and just kind of set it to the side. Turn this little T handle here, pull the corn meter out. The corner start falling down. Now this isn't overly necessary, but I like to mark the row this come out of. So if we ever have any trouble or something, we can go, hey, I had trouble with row eight. Put this in this bucket over here. So that's just one little thing I like to do. And the other thing, then we grab our air gun and throw out that loose corn debris. Dust out of there, then open the little hopper box. There's always one little seed that'll stick down and there's a little hole. So get that out of there. Throw it all off, pull the lid off good. And then it's usually best to get your leftover corn out of there so you don't spill it. Dump it in the wheelbarrow. Get it over here on the next row and it's out of our way. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is change the brush for corn. It's at an angle and for beans it goes in straight. There's a little groove down in there. You'll feel it fit in there and then sure it snap into place. And I usually like to blow a little more dust off here. Okay, then we grab our handy little pick tool here. Release this little deal there, that little paper clip. And then the singulator here. Kind of helps the seeds get straight in the in the meter. Take that little spring and you set it down under that little groove right there. So that sits in there. Because for beans, we got three rows of beans going. We don't need that knocking beans around, straightening them up. And our little stringulator over here, string uh, knocks fragments and stuff off the disc when they're coming down, cleans it so when the new seed comes on. Okay, we got our 108 seed meter here, number eight, so I know I'm putting it the right one. Get it in there nice and firm, hold it with your hand, turn that handle. And as we're putting the lid on, I kind of look at the seal, make sure I don't see any cracks. Looks good. Sealer back up, good to go, ready to plant beans. All right, got all the meters cleaned out, switched over to beans. Time to get this thing back out in the field. Hey, Dad, how you having fun? Are we videoing? Yes, sir. Yeah, well, sometimes you have days where things that you least expect will give you trouble, give you trouble. We were unloading beans, seed tender. Started binding down. Never happened before. We noticed when you fold it over, the bolt was gone at a shear point. So we don't know if that's going to be the total problem, but Devin said, Oh, a bolt did come out when I was loading the other planter. Well, now we know, you know, it could have been in the box, who knows, mechanical stuff up where we load. They might have dropped the bolt in there. Didn't seem like it was much of a shear point, but I guess we're gonna find out. All right, let's see if we fixed our problem. Never heard of a methyl cap like Make the bother.
I'll put it up a little bit. Now we get carried away. I did. Long's that little bearing still moving. Should be good. That's what happened. It got full of beans because it was flipping. It got plugged and that stopped turning. That let us know that something was going on. Well, I think we got it, but we will stay in touch. So, what do you do when you spill beans out of your tender? Not on purpose, but because of a mechanical issue. And you have to... You can't put them back in the planter because they got grass in them and little dirt fibers and all kinds of little stock stuff. So Devin's going to give a demonstration here of what you do. Because, you know, we don't want to leave this pile of beans here. They'll get all wet and look crappy. So you scoop up a little talc bucket full because we have plenty of those around. And we have this headland here that we mow this summer for hay bales so about july this grass will be about knee high and uh it's gonna have a little bit of a bean crop on it so this isn't called the javelin this is called the soybean thrust let her rip oh look at that they're all spread out they'll grow you won't even know <laughs> beautiful see you this is the funnies later Hey everyone, you're watching Disney Channel. Wait, no, that's not right. You're watching Man Family Farms. Welcome back. What's going on, Dixie? You miss me? Shoom. Just hopped out of the quad track, let Devin take over. I was just getting a start on working some ground. Mainly, I just wanted to work around a waterway so I could go reseed it gonna take the old 4020 and the 10 foot John Deere model a drill and go touch up the waterway so this past week while I've been at school we've got a tremendous amount done we're making really good progress we are 100% done with commercial corn my uncle's working on the first field of seed corn today that's about 90 acres and my brother is out working our next seed field which is here at the home farm and that's about 240 acres so that's all that's left for corn but that's seed corn now one might ask what's seed corn is in all corn seed corn not necessarily so when you're driving around most of the corn that you see is what we call commercial corn and commercial corn is grown for fuel food feed and fiber uh, it's not typically used for human consumption. It is in a sense that it goes into a lot of ingredients for other types of food. The corn that you eat on the cob is called sweet corn, and it's a lot different than commercial corn. Now, what I'm talking about when I say seed corn is this is corn that basically is made in a lab, and they get all these different traits and hybrids and it's essentially we're growing the seed that's going to turn into commercial corn seed next year. It's way more complex than that. I can't really explain it, but that's basically the gist of it. As far as soybeans go, we've got about 400 acres of seed beans left, which is essentially the same as seed corn, same purpose. And we've got maybe 100, 100 or so commercial soybeans left. So we are, we are in the home stretch. All right, that's enough rattling on. Let's go seat some waterways. All right, so basically done with my little projects. 
So I'm gonna go drive around, see if anybody needs help, kind of be a seed runner and whatnot. So yeah. As you can see, we got the goods, so I, uh, I'll be good for a little while. And we got the drone, we got the drone. So all your farmers out there, if you ever find time to get in the gym, you gotta start doing power cleans. So you take this here, you grab it, clean it one hand over your shoulder. Since I gotta hold the camera with this hand, it only needs to be one hand. So you're 50 pounds, so yeah. We're planting beans. Don't mind the hooligan on the planter behind me. <laughs> Why was it? Oh, it's Yield Champ. YC, Yield Champ. All right. That is a wrap. 212 acres. Uh, we're gonna take the trucks home, come back and get the planter and reassess what our next plan is. So Honey Badger here. We're over here on the McCann farm. And we're going to uh, finish planting the end rows for the seed corn field. We gotta put in 12 male rows down on the north end here. And then we gotta put about 12 rows in over down along uh, kind of between a couple of waterways. So uh, anyway, get ready for the vintage 1206 to fire up and uh, smoke you out here. So get ready. <laughs> Oh, 
on the international shipper. just finished a field of two nine enlist and now we're going to two eight dicamba and we didn't have very many beans left in the planter so we're kind of doing a little food plot down here in a little waterway as you can see and uh, so taking the meter out letting the beans run on the ground little bird feed just clean that out real quick all the beans out of there, one and left in there. Put that meter back in there. Tighten the hub. Put the lid back on. Shutter. Ready to go. Oh, don't drive off the mountain. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a wild bucky on the loose. Uh, bag number two in this box, so we're filling one bag at a time. We gotta keep track of all the bags and the tags for the seed corn. So we'll keep it putting 24 in, go back, start 24 again. So we'll end up putting 72 in. Just try to keep everything in order. 